हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल एजो डायरी माई नेम इज मोहित गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ वेब ऐप यूजिंग एजोर डेवाप्स सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन रिपोजिटरी इन एजोर डेवाप्स देन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट इन विजुअल स्टूडियो देन वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इन दैट प्रोजेक्ट इन टू द एजोर डेवाप्स then we will show you how to create the ci cd pipeline in azure devops and finally we are going to show you how to uh, build and deploy using azure devops so let's first create one uh, project in uh, azure devops so i have created one project and that is web hyphen devops demo now i am going to make one initial commit so that it will create my master repository so my master branch is ready now so now i can uh, clone this into my visual uh, into my machine I'm using git extension to clone the repository. so my clone is completed now now i am going to create one project in the visual studio i am taking one asp.net core web application this i am taking to the location where i have cloned i'm taking the name same as i have in my repository now i'm going to build and check in my code to the azure devops
now let's check in the code from uh, git extension so this is our code let's check in only those files which we required only So we do not require these uh, obj debug folder uh, this we need okay so this is let us in, do initial commit So our code has been checked in now so we can check our code is in master branch now let's create uh, one resource group and web app from the azure portal Let's create one resource group, demo web app resource group, and then create one web application. So we are giving the instance name as demo web app for learning. So runtime stack is uh, .NET Core. Uh, Windows uh, reason I'm taking East US. Uh, so we can choose a plan from here. And we, we can choose the size of the web application whether we want to use some basic plan or can use some production plan so I'm using the basic plan okay now I'm going to create the Azure web app so this is just we are creating the container and we are pushing the code from Azure DevOps it may takes few minutes now it is ready so we can check our web app is ready if we browse this web application it will show that currently it is not available so here it is our default uh, page if you have not applied your code so it will show you only this page okay so let's go and create the azure devops pipeline so this is our azure devops so uh, we have already created one project so now we are going to create the 
build pipeline so uh, I'm clicking on this new build pipeline I have my code in repository Azure so I'm going to choose this and I'm going to we can choose uh, a default pipeline here so we already have a pipeline for ASP.NET Core so I'm using this okay so it has um, built step already there I don't need this uh, test step so I'm going to remove this okay so after build I need to publish the artifacts so I'm going to use uh, add one more step that is publish it will publish the build artifacts save it save and run it we can check the progress from blocks so our build got completed now so we can check uh, what are the artifacts uh, it has generated uh, so we can check the artifacts from here so here in the artifacts uh, it published the web.zip this we can push into the Azure web app application okay so now we are going to create the release pipeline so in the release pipeline we are going to add new release so in the artifacts we have to select the artifacts which got published from our build pipeline okay i have added new artifacts now i'm going to add the stages here we can have stages as per our environment like we have a dev environment and uat environment here we can have a number of stages I'm just taking as a dev now I'm going to add the task in the agent job I'm going to add the Azure web web apps service deploy so here here I need to define the subscription in which subscription I want to deploy I need to click on authorize so that it will create a service principle for this application now I am going to give the app service name So we have selected this app service name as demo web app for learning so I'm using this zip deploy Here we can also define the app settings where we, if you want to replace app settings with the variables of DevOps pipeline so we can do it here. Now I am going to deploy this. From 
release one we can check the locks So our application uh, got deployed successfully. Let's see whether it got deployed or not. So our application got deployed successfully. Let's see whether it got deployed on Azure portal or not. Go to the Azure portal, click on browse button. So we can see that our application got deployed successfully. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on these uh, URLs on LinkedIn, GitHub, and Medium blog.